you know, I had a, the head of the detectives union. Mm. He wrote a piece for us at the Post, and I had a phone call with him about it. And he was telling me, um, by the way, like there's a lot more sexual harassment and sexual assault than you're seeing. It's not all, it's not being reported, but we're hearing about it. Um, you know, so, you know, here's someone who knows what's going on and, and, you know, and I have to say, I was like, you know, and he was talking about on the subway, on, specifically on the subway. And it's oh, okay. like, wow. Cause I already felt, you know, I don't feel safe going on the subway alone since the pandemic. Um, you know, I took it every day before, but I mean, and every day, you, you know, I, mean, I had a coworker. She had like two crazy people in her one car going to work uh, the other day, you know, with a guy who started getting very angry when he, he apparently did a pole dance um, and it wasn't very inspired. So no one wanted to give him money. And then he started getting angry, yelling at people. And it's like, this is a daily occurrence for, you know, millions of New Yorkers. It's, it's real. And you never know when is, when is something like that going to turn into something ugly.